ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, also known as Pokemon Sun and Moon Director's Cut, apparently. Uh, anyway, the Pokemon Center, sorry, the Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Chaot? Whoa. Ah, what's happening? Everything has fallen into darkness. What's going on? Did this happen in the last game? I can't remember. Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon gets covered up. We're just gonna gloss over that? That's an amazing event. What the heck? Uh, was a lunar eclipse forecast? Sorry, was a lunar eclipse forecast for today? Uh, well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah. An omen? You think something good will happen? Lunar eclipses happen all the time. It's the solar eclipse you gotta look out for. Sure, a long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah. But people say that's when Alola's people in Pokemon blasted all that darkness away with light. And they also say that was why people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that custom turned into the Island Challenge. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Chaot, now that you've gotten that Z-Power Ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z-Crystals. Woo! That's exactly what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Professor, that's not why he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Chaot, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. Alright, let's go. I mean, it's just gonna mark it on my map anyway. I don't really need you, Lily, but whatever. I guess we'll do this thing. Oh, a Pokemon battle. Yay, just what we all love. I haven't read any comments to see whether or not you guys want me to... Uh, whoa, what the heck? I've never seen this Pokemon. Whoa, cool. So that happens, huh? Um, I haven't read any comments yet since I asked if you guys want me to cut these uh, battles out because I haven't uploaded those videos yet in my time. So forgive me, it won't be a few episodes, or it will be a few episodes until I actually see whether or not you guys want me to cut these out. Sorry, I don't know why I'm stuttering so bad when I talk. I think it's because the music's too loud. Let me turn it down. Uh, give me just a moment. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. Nope, that turned it completely off. Okay, that's good enough. It's exactly the same. Okay, let's just scratch this pecker's eyes out and we should be done. Get out of here. Yeah, nice work. Okay, so I'm wondering when we first saw Pokemon Ultra, or sorry, when we first saw Pokemon Sun and Moon, the original trailer for it, it showed vehicles and stuff and like a lot more emphasis on Pokemon helping people. I wonder if that's what's in this game. Maybe Ultra, oh my god, it's an Inke. I want this thing, it's so cute. Should I get it? I've never seen this thing before in the wild. I don't think I ever encountered one in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, but what was I saying? Uh, I can't remember, let me just scratch this thing. Oh yeah, I wonder if those things that we saw in the, that trailer is gonna be in this game. Like, Ultra Sun and Moon was meant to be what Sun and Moon was gonna be. Uh, was meant to be, or something. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Uh, let me try and capture this thing. Uh, I'm sure you guys understood what I meant, sorry. I can't think straight, because the music's too loud. Uh, but yeah, I'm wondering if things will be much better, and more akin to the trailer that we saw. Anyway, we caught Inky! Yay! I almost said his name Inky. <laughs> or Inky or something. Whatever, it's all good. Inky's data will be added to the Pokedex. Aw, oh, he's so cute! It's a little squid! Inky. I like him. Congrats, you registered a Pokemon in your Pokedex. Uh, Inke, the revolving Pokemon, when exchanging information with others of its kind, it flashes the light emitting spots on its body in a complex rhythm. What should I call this guy? I have no idea what he turns into, actually, now that I think about him. I'm gonna call him Blooper, because he looks like a Blooper from Mario. So there we go, Blooper! They're called Bloopers, right? I haven't seen Bloopers in a long time in Mario, actually. Are they still in the game? I have no idea. I have only really seen them in the 2D Mario. Anyway, we got an awakening, so that's cool. Anything over here? Sorry, I was thinking whether or not I've seen one. Uh, oh hey, there's a girl there, which I don't really care about. We're just gonna... We're just gonna head over here. I'll explore that stuff later. Ah oh, man, that counts as grass, huh? I was trying to go around the grass, and I thought maybe that was us going around the grass, but no, it wasn't. <laughs> we were still walking in the grass. Anyway, let's get out of here. 
I must have looked so stupid, like, grinding against that wall on my way out of this tuft of grass. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's head towards Lily. She's probably waiting for us. I don't know how she got wherever she is as quick as she did, but yeah. How the heck did she get here? That's so weird. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. Wait, wasn't this un uh, under construction before? Is it just newly made? This is weird. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon. Yes, we already know this stuff. Uh, I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. That's cool. Adds to your character and whatnot. That's the Pokemon. We've seen that before. Yep. Aren't you surprised that there's just this newly constructed po Poke Center here? Like, why are we just glossing over that? It looks beautiful and it's new and it's never been here before. We should head to the trainer school next, but you have but have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. Okay, see ya. This was under construction, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? This is so weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe if we talk to someone around here, they'll uh, mention it. I have no idea what's going on right now. Thanks for waiting, Lydon, and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again soon. I'm actually going to switch into Baneri. Uh, there we go. We'll switch Baneri out here so that we can give her some XP. Or him, because it's actually it's actually a boy. Yo, what up? You can have up to six Pokemon with you. Yep, I already know that. What about this kid? You can buy things and sell things. Yes, Lily already told me that. Any Pokemon trainer in the world can have their Pokemon healed or use the PC here for free. Yep. Oh my god. No one cares that this place was just built. It's just inhabited out of nowhere. What do you sell? Anything good? Ultra balls? Quick balls? Uh, just Pokeballs. Okay, that's boring. Uh, I might as well go over here and get some Poke Beans. Maybe this place is different. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about zero o'clock now in Alola, or midnight as normal people say. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get started for you today? Uh, what do I want? I want some Moo Moo milk. Give me some milk. It's midnight and I need to stay awake somehow. So give me some milk. Actually, milk makes you fall asleep, doesn't it? This was a mistake. The episode is gonna end <laughs> because I'll fall asleep on my desk. Here you are! One Moo Moo milk just for you. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. This milk is so mellow yet rich that uh, that it'll make you wish your mother were a milk tank. You don't put a, com a comma in between there, that's weird. You can have Pokemon battles with your friends or with people you don't know. Battles can get so hot that you completely lose track of time. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This ice cream is a specialty from Castelia City in the Unova region. Oh, a Castelia cone? Yeah, I thought so. I love Castelia cones. I remember stocking up on those way back when I played black and white. Uh, we'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Poke beans, thank you. Poke beans are a specialty in Alola, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Please come visit us again, again soon. Okay, well, how about we go into Pokemon Refresh and we give some of those Poke Beans to Baneri. Yo, what's up? Oh, she's so cute. I showed my girlfriend this Pokemon and she was like, Oh, it kind of looks like she is made of chocolate and was dipped in some sort of vanilla frosting or something. And I realize now I should have called him Frosting or something like that. Uh, because he really does look like that, doesn't it? Doesn't he? I mean... Anyway, that should be enough Poke Beans. I don't even know what kind of Poke Beans that we got, but eh, whatever. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably not say Poke anymore, right? No more Pokemon. People really, for some reason, cringe when you say Pokemon correctly, so I guess I'll just get back into saying Pokemon. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a, a one in the world? Oh yeah, the Tauros. I forgot about you. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave for that some we'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. Sorry about my dyslexia, guys. I don't know what it is. I think I'm it seems to flare up when I'm stressed more than usual, so that could be it. I'm sorry about that. Uh anyway. Uh, it's weird because this dyslexia problem just makes me even more stressed, so it's like an endless cycle. Hey there, Chaot! I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer's school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Sorry, Pokemon trainer. I'll get used to it, don't worry. Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? 
Yeah, Chaos a real tough one too. Put them through the ringer good, teach. The ringer good, teach. Uh, four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Kaod. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Oh cool, the EXP share. Is it still as mind-boggling OP as it was in Sun and Moon? If you keep that EXP share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team get EXP points from battle. When he says yeah, it messes me up so bad. The trainers who like to who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. Alright, let the lesson begin. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah! Ah, uh, what a great way to justify this crappy, crappy battle system. There's like 700 Pokemon! Of course you can't keep track of all the weaknesses and stuff. Uh, I don't care why you're standing here, just fight me. Okay, I guess you don't want to fight. I could have sworn you were the one who we fought last time. Fair enough. There really is no other guy here. Yo, what up? Ready and grass, fire, water! Oh, that's cute. Um, which one wins again? Which one would win in a matchup between water type and fire type? Water, duh. <laughs> the grass. But I didn't even say grass, stupid! <laughs> right, right, yeah, that's it. You must be a great trainer. Give me something. Ah, uh, darn. Can I say grass? I'm gonna say grass next time. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, come on. Which one would win between grass and fire? I'm gonna say water. You sure? I'm pretty sure it's not. Are you messing with us, maybe? Aw, oh, man. Psh. They don't even, like, mention that you are a total idiot for mentioning a type that they didn't even mention in the first place. Anyway, there is a Pokeball right here. Pokeball, sorry. Ah, uh, Pokeball. Anything else? Oh. Weaving through the grass here. What's this? A Paralyze Heal. Cool. Yo, what up, kid? How's it going? I'll show you my Grimer's best move. With poison gas, it'll poison everyone that comes at us. Okay, why not? Let's go. You and me, kid. I'll show you who's top dog around here. Here we go. You are challenged by youngster Joey. Oh, he doesn't like shorts or anything. He didn't say anything about shorts. He sent out Grimer. All right, kid. Let's go. Show me what you got. Buneary vs. Grimer. Oh, that's a level 7. That's scary. Uh, let's just fight and see what can happen. Defense curl, first of all, so we don't die. There we go. Wow, it covers the whole Pokemon now. That's cool. Poison gas. Uh-oh. And I'm poisoned. That's no good. But we'll be fine, I think. Yeah, only one damage. Not bad. Okay. Uh, splash. Why do you have splash? What does foresight do again? Enables a ghost-type target to be hit by normal and fighting-type attacks. Okay, you're not even a ghost-type, so forget that. I'm gonna use another defense curl if you don't mind, uh, fellas. Here we go! I like that it's a little bubble. Pound! Uh-oh, this might hurt a little bit. Uh, not bad. Actually, not much damage there, huh? Let's try again. One more. Defense curl. Ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. Aye! Okay. I'm gonna have to use a potion next turn. Nice work. Sorry, this is for the benefit of Cloud Ears. Cloud Ears needs to learn how to battle. Cloud Ears needs to, like, get EXP experience, you know? So, it's for it's for its benefit. There you go, nice. Still poisoned, though. Poison doesn't wear off in this, I forgot. Uh-oh. That's bad. Okay, should we try one more defense curl? Just keep defense curling it up, yo. No critical hits, please. Okay, good. Yes, good work. I will defeat Grimer with Buneary. I'm not gonna let all of these defense curls go to waste, because that would be stupid. Okay, potion, use, boop! I wonder if you can run away from Pokemon battles yet. Probably not, huh? You can't surrender or anything? That would be cool if you could. But I guess that 
kind of takes out more of the fun, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Fight. Uh, I'm gonna use Pound this time. There we go. Do a lot of damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is taking too long, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? I might switch. You hit him once. Good job. Good job, Bunyari. Let's get Inkei out here, at least. You know, might as well. If only Bunyari knew, knew uh, Growl. Growl would have made this battle much easier, because now Inkei wouldn't be in trouble with this pound here. Oy, that's a critical hit. Wow. Scary. Okay, what do you have, Inkei? Peck. That's surprising. What about Reflect? What does this do? Uh, reduces damage from physical attacks. Okay, let's do this. Here we go, Reflect! Ah, oh, that's cute how he spins upside down. That's adorable. Yes, our team is stronger against physical moves. Oh, but he has poison gas. I'm, ba I'm about to get poisoned. Oy. Don't do a lot of damage, please. Only two? Yeah, okay, good. Two. I figured as much. Okay, let's go ahead and grab another potion. How many of these do I have? Nine. Not bad. All right, bloop. Can I use the potion? That reminds me. Do I have a code or something since I pre-ordered this game? Do I get, like... A Ultra Balls or something? I can't remember. Let me have a look. Uh, oop, sorry, let me take my turn while I do this. Let's see, I'm gonna use Constrict, I think. There you go, just so it takes continuous damage each turn. Let's see, I didn't get any sort of code thing in here. I guess you don't get anything for pre-ordering. Kind of a bummer. Well, that's too bad. Uh, let's see here. Man, this is taking a really long time, isn't it? Should I just use an antidote here? Castelia cone. Uh, cures all status conditions. Okay, I'm just gonna potion this guy again. Sorry, this is like a end of the end of the day battle, I guess, for us. There you go, nice work, blooper. Don't pound me, bro. Yikes, that's a lot of damage. Plus the the poison as well. What if I use Peck? Is Peck super effective against this thing because it's poison? No, it doesn't even do much damage at all, jeez. I guess I'm just gonna have to switch to Lidden. These guys do get XP at least because of the EXP share, but man, I really wanted to beat them up with uh, those Pokemon, with Blooper and Cloud Ears, but whatever, it's fine, I guess. All right, Fireball, show them what for, you can do it. Here's Pound. Yikes. Not too much damage though, so that's fine. I'm just gonna Ember it out of the stratosphere right now. And boop! Poison gas. Okay, this is a pain in the butt. Can you stop with that? Man, I thought it would be cool to beat it up with Buneary and see all the EXP just flow through it. That would have been really cool. Alright, he's almost dead. Sorry, Grimer. I actually really want a Grimer. It's really pretty in the Alola region, in my opinion. Alright, here we go. Get out of here. Nice work! Aw, he looks so sad when he dies. Cool! I'm gonna care for everyone and get rid of their status effects, I think. Fireball grew to level 10. Didn't learn anything. Blooper grew to level 5. He's starter level now. Cloud Ears grew to level 3. And level 4. Level 5? Yes, level 5. Nice! Cool. No, the grammar I found in the tall grass near the school was defeated? Aw, oh, that's cute. He found a little friend near the school. And then proceeded to... Uh... Command it terribly. And then... Have its butt be kicked. That's sad. I guess they won't be friends for long, huh? Come on. Get rid of that status effect. Why does this take so long? Okay. Uh, you want a poke bean just while we're here? There you go. It's the same color as you. There you go. Aw, oh, how cute! Okay, now let's clear, or, uh, let's cure the status effect of, uh, Buneary, Cloud Ears. Aw, oh, you look so sad, little buddy. Here you go. There you go, little man. Yeah, so cute. I have a question. Is Buneary gonna evolve? Because Buneary evolves into, a, like, a really feminine-looking Pokemon, but this Buneary is a male, so that worries me a little bit. I might have to look into that. Uh, we might end up having to put Buneary somewhere, like on the Poke Pelago when we reach that point. Or something. Maybe the daycare, care, I don't know. There you go, Inkei! My little blooper buddy! 
Hope you feel better. All right, well, let's get out of here. I think that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you guys in a bit. Peace out. Bye.